Hey guys, it's Sam from the Sword Tour guys, and this is going to be an HK47 boss fight guide. So as you can already tell, there will be minor spoilers in this game. I'm not going to be showing the storyline that goes along with this, but while well, you already know, HK47 is indeed in the game, but we are going to explain this boss fight. Uh, it's not too difficult, but there are a few things that you need to do, and I'll explain those as they come. The first being that a random person in the group will get locked onto, and as you can see right here, there is a blue thing around that healer over there to the left. That will go red, so if you're a melee DPS, you have to get out of the way when that blue thing is on you. You can see what I mean here, as I got the blue thing on me, so I moved out of the way, then it turned red, and I was able to move, because that is now locked on, so it won't follow you. Eventually, two turrets will come out to the left and right and you'll have to actually target those with that blue crosshair but I'll show you what I mean in just a second here so as you can see these turrets came up they have a green thing around them and you don't have to take those turrets out if you're lacking on DPS but what you do have to do is take out that green shield around the turrets because you won't be able to kill them once HK47 goes down so once you get that blue lock on move over to the turret and then like turn red then it will destroy the shield and you'll be able to kill those turrets once HK47 goes down. Coming up here though, he does go stealth. When this happens, everyone just be sure to stack right on the tank. And then he will stun a random person in your party. And whoever doesn't get stunned will have to AoE while he is in stealth. And the more AoE damage you do, the less damage he'll do to the person he stuns. So if you don't AoE at all while he's in stealth, that person will get one shot, so be sure to AoE lots if you're not the person getting stunned. In this video, I do get stunned, I think, every time, so I don't really worry about AoEing, but everyone else in my group does. So that's pretty much all you need to know for this fight, though. You just keep doing this. He'll do this a few times, so once again, I get stunned, and then everyone else AoEs until he comes out of stealth. Then we start DPSing again. Another thing you need to know for this boss is that he does have an enrage timer. What that means is at a certain time, if you don't kill him fast enough, he will go enraged, and then he will pretty much start one-shotting everyone. It's not quite one-shotting, but he definitely does start doing a lot of damage. As you can see there, I move out of the way, but it kind of glitches back. Sometimes that happens. Just got to be aware of that and then move out of the red if that does happen. So if you don't kill him fast enough, uh, if your DPS isn't very good, that actually does happen to us here, so he does get enraged. And then he aggros onto me, and I do end up getting killed, but we were able to kill him, so it doesn't really matter too much. But just be aware that he does enrage, so you do have to DPS this guy pretty fast, so that's why you probably shouldn't focus on the turrets until after the fight. It's not really worth losing the DPS. But other than that, it's a pretty simple fight, and if you do have decent gear, you should be able to do this no problem. But that is going to do it for this video, so thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe because I will be doing walkthroughs of pretty much every hard mode flashpoint. So I'll see you next time. Peace.